What is up, gang? The Red Dragon here, and I wanted to do a quick response to Woody's Gamer Tag. I just watched one of his videos, and he was talking about marijuana in one of them at the 1325 marker. And he says, marijuana, it's bad for you. Don't let people say that it's good for you, that it cures cancer, and this and that. And so he, he kind of rolled it off the tongue as if it were facts. So I just wanted to, to take a minute and, and kind of evaluate that statement right here. Uh, you can do a quick search. It'll pull up tons of stories. Here's one from the Daily Beast. It has a ton of different scientific research journal entries that have been published around the world. And uh, let's just go over a couple of them. Uh, mounting evidence shows cannabinoids and marijuana slow cancer growth, inhibit formation of new blood cells that feed a tumor, help manage fatigue, nausea, and other side effects. Christina Sanchez at Madrid, she was studying brain cancer cells because they grow faster than other cells, so they, they're really good for research purposes. She found that every time she added tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, to the cancer cells, they died each and every time that they were exposed. And this was posted back in 98. There's been several studies since then. Of course, uh, it, it's been shown for nausea, pain, loss of appetite, fatigue, also anti-tumor. Uh, here's one from a Spanish team of scientists. Now, they were studying nine humans and uh, they, they injected pure THC into a catheter, and uh, they gave it to nine hospitalized patients who had uh, severe brain cancer who had had standard therapy but had not had any effects from the standard therapy. They showed significant reduced tumor cell proliferation in every single one of those test subjects. Around that same time, Harvard was studying that THC slows tumor growth in lung cancer, and it also selectively targets and destroys tumor cells while leaving healthy cells unscathed. Conventional chemotherapy drugs, uh, they however do not uh, leave the healthy cells alone. And then there's one about breast cancer. You keep on going down here. Here's one about leukemia. Uh, so th there's just those studies right there that's talked about in this particular article. Uh, here's one from Bloomberg, marijuana stops growth of lung cancer tumors in mice. Giving marijuana to mice with cancer shrank their lung tumors by half and slowed spread of the disease. Uh, so that's another study. Here's one from yesterday. Brain scans revealed that marijuana-like medicine could uh, treat PTSD. They're trying to create a medicine that's like the plant that's in a pill form. That's what they're trying to do uh, with this right here by uh, removing um, the, the psychedelic uh, chemical. Here's another one from yesterday. Marijuana users have better blood sugar control. Uh, they also found that uh, high users have a smaller waist size and better, healthier BMI. Uh, here's one for marijuana eases Tourette's symptoms. So th this this is not even like it literally took me five minutes to pull up these articles right here. And again, these aren't from, you know, hippie blogs <laughs> that are pro-marijuana. These are scientific study journals. These are news reports. And that's what I encourage you to do. I encourage you to do your own research. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Woody. Don't listen to anybody. You hear something, go and research it for yourself and, and pay attention to where you're getting your information from. Be sure that it, it, it's from independent sources. Be sure that it's from scientific doctors who, who are doing scientific studies on this sort of stuff. And, you know, there's stuff for pro and against. And, and when Woody says that it's bad for you, don't let people say that it's good for you. And he says that it cures cancer and this and that. And, and he kind of rolled it off as if there was no way in the world that it could cure cancer. Look, the fact is we don't know whether it cures cancer or not because there needs to be more studies. And there aren't enough studies because of the stupid laws and, and and this is stuff that could be life-changing and we need to be able to research this we need to find out what exactly this all can do and, and, and the fact is you can't say that it can cure cancer. You can't say that it doesn't cure cancer. The fact is that the research that has been done thus far, though, does show enough evidence to say that, look, this is serious enough these tests are serious enough where we, we need to, to really look at this and, and really evaluate how we are conducting ourselves and our laws and our health and everything else. And it's definitely worth researching and investing in. So uh, that would be my kind of, I guess, uh, insight on, on that statement right there.
And I wouldn't just totally dismiss it. I would encourage you to do your own research. Also, check out this uh, link I'll leave in the, li in the description box. It's called The Union Business Behind Getting High. This is a really good documentary for those of you who are interested in this. And uh, I'll also leave a link to Woody's video and to all of these different articles that I have linked so you can read it for yourself and, and do some more stuff. And if you, this is a subject that you would like to hear more about, then definitely let me know. And uh, because w with, you know, marijuana or, or whatever else, th there's all kinds of stuff and, and different ways that you can look at it, whether it's the laws or the economics of it. Uh, the health benefits, etc. So there's a lot of stuff to cover in this, but I want to know if this is a subject that you guys would be interested in hearing more about. And if so, post your comment below, leave me a like, and subscribe for more. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. Also, hit me up on Twitter and Facebook. Again, all those links in the description box. I appreciate you watching. Take care.